Last week, I was in New York City, and I had the opportunity to hang out with an old pal, Marquez Brownlee. You may have heard of him. And we had the opportunity to unbox the first iMac for the first time ever. This video is sponsored by RavPower 61 watt USB-C PD charger. Thanks to cutting edge gallium nitride technology, it's half the size of Apple's charger, and with my special coupon code, less than half the price. Click the link below to get yours today. How did you even get this? This, uh, so this came from a friend in, in the tech world who bought a bunch of them for his older company and never used them. So he had just had them sitting in a box since like, I guess the 90s technically. I'm not sure exactly when this one came out. Um, asked me if I wanted one. Of course. Yeah, I said, said yes. yes right, Outside the right. uh, the iBook that also I unboxed with Justine. Oh, yeah. It came from the same guy. So this is where those came from. I'll link that below if you haven't seen it. It's a good yeah. video. Uh, yeah, so the bottom of the box on this has 11 of 99. And this is the first time it's been opened. So this, fun fact, this was actually my first computer. This is breaking the seal that on was... a computer that has not seen the light of day for a very long time. <laughs> it still looks pretty new. Okay, so. Wow, that is. There are a bunch of colors. Dude, look at this. This is cool. I feel bad Man. that we're doing this I don't to feel you. bad anymore. This is, this is okay. fully exciting. Okay, styrofoam. Something I was noting from when I unboxed some other Apple stuff is they sometimes like to put the Apple logo on the styrofoam. They didn't do it for this one. Of course they did. Small touch. Uh, that was probably a Steve Jobsism. Yeah. Jobs had returned to Apple by this point. The original one was released in 1998. Any Apple logo in there? No. Rats. All right, so here's the machine itself. That's a pretty small computer. Yeah, I mean, the box is huge. Big box. But now we have, this is, in fact, the blue. What was the name? You had the name of it. Bon, Bondi Blue? Bondi Blue? Bondi Blue. Bondi Blue. Bondi Blue. So this is the Bondi Blue it's Australian iMac. Name. I remember having one of these, um, I want to say it was like fifth grade, in like okay. the, the corner of the classroom, yeah. the teacher had a computer, this was the teacher's computer. And so we could either go online for like the first time as a human <laughs> on one of these, or like play Tetris or something like that. This is, this is that, this is the beginning of computing for me. That's pretty awesome. Basically the same for me. I had grown up with Macs my whole life, but this was the first Mac that was kind of mine. Uh, my dad eventually upgraded to the titanium iMac G3. And I got this one as kind of a hand-me-down. Okay. And so I played Backyard Sports, Freddy oh, Fish, uh, Pajama Sam. Dude, did you play Backyard this. Basketball? Yeah, of course I did. I love Backyard Basketball. <laughs> it's the greatest game ever. <laughs> the best was uh, Backyard Baseball, though. There yeah. was one kid named Pablo. Pablo Sanchez. Dude, he was the freaking best, dude. I don't know why everyone knows Pablo Sanchez, but he's the fastest he dude in wrecked. the game. He was wrecked. great. Uh, okay, so accessories. This is sealed still. So this is brand new. It says important Your use of materials on that's not a great sticker placement Your use of materials on the enclosed media is subject to any terms presented for acceptance during the installation Hey, look at that Apple Eula in full force. They've always just been those guys. Okay, we agree that's to fair. never make a Hackintosh with the included software fine fair. Uh, oh look at that It's called blueberry According to the box. So this is not. Is this the Bondi, Bondi blue? I mean, it looks almost but the same. But it is. This might also not be, because there's all these colors on the box, and uh, this might be one of the, the blues. I think. That's another blue, purple. Interesting. Whatever. Okay, so choice. this is the blueberry. Now I'm all. I don't know what's right oh, anymore. The keyboard. Yeah. This was not a great keyboard. Look okay. at that keyboard. It's actually it's a little like, a, it's, it's seen up. better days. It's a little yellowed, but, yeah. but it's fine. So, spoiler alert, I've been doing uh, some retro tech shooting okay. for the series that we're doing. Right. And during this shooting process, I've been just sort of intrigued at how tech yellows over time, how yeah. white plastic, a lot of companies use white plastic, will have a yellow over time. This cable, eh, it's, you know, it's just been sitting in a box for a while. I assume it was not this yellow when it was made. I would have to think I would not. assume it was supposed to be clear. So but yeah, this, this yellowed like more than anything. That's held up well though, the plastic. Yeah. It's just the rubber that's gone bad. That is a 90s looking keyboard if I have ever seen one, dude. They really leaned into the transparent look with- Yeah, uh, even the keycaps are transparent. Keeping everything even just slightly translucent here. That's a move, all right. Pretty, pretty wild. <laughs> Look at this, Marquez. And that's the mouse. This is the infamous hockey, oh. 
That's stuck. Something that, that actually happened something with. Something has not aged well in here. I think what this happened. So when I unboxed the G3 laptop with Justine, it was either the chart. I think it was also the mouse. Uh, there's a fluid that keeps the ball moving around. Oh, yeah, like a little grease that's settled. and that sort of just falls out after a while, I guess. So yeah, not ideal. Looks but like we're gonna get a little sticky here. It may still work, which would be sweet. Wow. Yeah, that's sticky. Yeah, look at that power cable. What is going on? See now that is cool. Oh, whoa! Look how moist that thing is. <laughs> that is really sticky. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Dude, this yeah. whole mouse is super. Feel that, or you probably don't, because these yeah, are. Yeah, the oh, you know what? This was always kind of a little rubbery. I think it's the rubber that's degraded over time. Interesting. Because it's just the soft touch plastic, but it's completely gone. Uh, this mouse is an abomination. Yeah. You think having to flip your mouse upside down to charge it via the lightning port is bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> but well, I'm not this, making excuses. Yeah. But this is bad. It was so bad, in fact, that they later announced an accessory that was a piece of snap-on plastic that you would snap onto the sides and it would make the mouse like a normal size A reasonable size mouse. ergonomic shape. Yeah, which still wasn't good because this was rounded, right? So it yeah. would like slightly turn over time. It was just really bad. But you have your roller mouse here. Uh, obviously pre-optical days, so you've got your trackball mm -hmm. down at the bottom. But, uh, I mean, it still looks iconic. You've got nice transparent plastic. It just... I wonder if it was considered uh, futuristic at the time to do yeah. transparent everything, kind of the way you might see in a movie. Oh, it's really sticky. In a movie, you might see like a like a, a smartphone kind of looks super futuristic when yeah. it's bezel-less and you can sort of see through it. Maybe that's kind of what they're leaning into at the beginning of the iMac days. And then this power cable is actually sort of transparent also. It you can still see the looks cool. Wires and the plugs are transparent. And very sticky. Is the cable wow. itself sticky? The cable's not. Just the ends. It's just that the rubber. It's the, the rubber. Weird. Cutting. Yeah, something. Huh. All right. Well, Apple, you guys better do a better job. Otherwise, Look, you're going out of business. I can't fault them too much for their product <laughs> sitting in a box for 20 years and not holding up well. It's That's only been not, 20 years, though. I mean, it's not the designed use for a typical electronics product. Okay. Uh, also, it came with an Ethernet cable. Welcome to the internet. No, dude, that's not even Ethernet. Look at that. That's oh, a wait. phone cable. That's oh, for a modem. Oh, this is the keyboard. <laughs> no, no, no. Is it? Oh, no. No? The keyboard already has that's a That's for a modem. Is this for a modem? Yeah, I think there's a built-in modem. So that was, is that? Uh, yep, it's right there. Whoa. Should so we that is the plastic to... then? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I think let's we should. Do it. Okay. All right. Yeah, do you want to look at these manuals real quick, Joe? look at this. I kind of do. How to turn it on. Oh, there's a little handle on the That's front. That's pretty simple. That's nice. Yeah, it's got the handle on the top. Okay. Uh, you put the kickstand down, you plug it in, plug in the mouse keyboard, you turn it on. Wow. So that's tricky. How would have I ever figured that out by myself? Simple's good enough for me. User manual. That's, no one's going to read that. We've got to install this. Look at this, though. The OG <laughs> white Apple the stickers. Apple stickers, and they With are huge. The registered trademark as a part of the sticker. Do they, they don't do that anymore. No. They just have the sticker. And do you know what also really doesn't hold up well over time? Stickers. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. It works pretty good. Good enough for the I'm going to rock shirt. it. Do you want one? I'll take one, sure. Okay. Yeah, why Ooh. Not? Although the stickers themselves are kind of sticky. <laughs> uh, what is it? Make sure you purchase AppleCare service and support. Uh, and whoa, look at this. Proof of purchase coupons for your operating system. Oh, I wow. I don't know why you would need these. Uh, oh, to get macOS updates and other special offers from Apple Computer. They weren't called Apple back then. Right, Apple, Apple Computer. Computer. Hmm. You'll need these coupons. Okay, cool. So let's unveil it, pull the plastic off. Let's see it. Would you like to do the this honors might be of a two -man job. breaking the seal? I feel like you got this. It sort of unfolds. <clears throat> yeah. That sticker is sticky too. Oh, there's like two layers in here. Okay. I'll lift it up. You yeah. grab that. And then it's... Marquez makes this look like it weighs nothing. This is a 50-pound computer. It's vacuum it's, sealed? It is not one. It is pretty heavy. Is it though? It's... <laughs> Whoa, dude. It's perfect. That was like taking a really big screen protector off that of a really, really big screen. That was really satisfying. 
Look how perfect that plastic is. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is the most recently unboxed iMac G3. In the world. Yeah. I don't have any doubts about that. <laughs> maybe even this week. Yeah. This month maybe? Who knows? But uh, dang, that looks hot. I don't even wanna touch it. You can see the, uh, the CRT cathode braid tube in the back here. Wow. Um, it's very translucent. We gotta get some some beauty shots of this because you can see straight into the machine see all of the the boards, the cooling, the CRT. There's like a big massive heat sink the right heat here. Heat sinks, yeah. I don't know what for, but huh. cool. So this ran an iMac G3 processor. This was a Power PC processor prior to Apple's move to Intel, uh, which may not be their last uh, processor or architecture move. Check out the video we made on Apple's potential move to ARM if you haven't seen it already. Uh, I.O. is pretty slim. They, they ended up adding a lot more ports in the future, but it looks like we've got a, what do we have here? We have two USBs, which okay. that's gotta be USB 1.1, right? The, I mean, I don't, I don't think know it's USB 2. Any older, yeah, it's probably yeah, USB 1. Yeah, not USB 2. Jeez. Uh, we've got a built-in modem. We've got an ethernet cable for network connections. And then we've got a microphone jack and a headphone jack. And then our power and reset buttons on the side. And that's it. On the front of the device, we have the two built-in speakers, the power button, the slot-loading disk drive, which was very high-tech for high the tech, time. Slot-loading, yep. And uh, our two more headphone jacks. You know, Apple's latest phones and iPads don't have any headphone jacks, but this had three. Three headphone jacks? So I feel like that more than makes up for it, right? Wait, three, whoa, wait, yeah. hold on. There's two in the front. Oh, wow, two in the front. Probably because this was used a lot in education. Right. right? So you you want to share headphones. Two kids listening to the same program at once while playing along. Right. Makes sense. And then, okay, maybe that's a line level. But still. Yeah, one of these is a mic and one of these is a headphone jack. So it's three headphone jacks. It's not bad. It's pretty good. I could go for that. What do you say? Should we power this thing on? If we can get it to power on, I'd be pretty pumped. I would be disappointed if it doesn't. I don't know what sort of how these things age. Again, we got the laptop to turn on. Hard drives might be a problem. Hard drive, CRT screen. You we'll don't see. generally want to leave hard drives for 20 years yeah. untouched. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how <laughs> All it right, goes. let's do it. All right, okay. so, I'm so gonna, that should plug in yep. to the front. Or, yeah, to the to side. The side yep. And then you plug the mouse into the keyboard here because the cable's not long enough to reach to yes. the back. The keyboard with an extra USB. That should, that's still alive today. That feature right there. Oh, USB? Uh, the oh. keyboards with USB ports for oh, yeah. mice. Oh, yeah. In and fact, then... Apple may have been, I don't want to say they were the first because I'll probably get destroyed in the comments section, but I feel like they were. Oh, yeah, it's right. Oh, here. here. Okay. Well, can we reach? It's also just a standard power cable, so if we need a longer one, we can use one of those. Yeah, I think it'll and plug in right here. Uh, this is a CRT, so I'm ready for the lights to dim in the studio. It's Push on the that front. Button. You want me to press it? Yeah. Are you sure you want it's me to press computer. it? It's your computer. Yeah, it's your video. I want you yeah, to have the experience you do fully. It. You okay. do. It. All right. Here we go. It's going to make a sound for sure. Oh. I thought you were going to get electrocuted for a second, but it sure sounded cool. Is that why you made you turn it on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's because it was yours. It's turning on. That's so good. Okay, let's see if that's that, a really uh, makes it to the. That's a low knit display. I'll tell you that much. It's asking for a. Oh no. System drive probably. I would. I hear no spinning hard drive at all, so I bet the hard drive's dead. But let's crack this open and see if we can boot off the CD. More than one CD. Mm, Spoiler. Of course. We got a whole book of them. This Starting is a, with uh, a lot of CDs, dude. iMac software install, uh, iMac software restore. Version 9.0, Mac OS 9, not Mac OS 10. It came with Quicken Deluxe 2000. Yeah, we can throw that in the garbage. It came with Kid Picks Deluxe. It don't. It's not a good name. We're keeping that. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Adobe Page Mill. Who's Adobe? They're going nowhere. Adobe Page Mill. I don't know what Adobe Page Mill is. Does that make me young or? I don't know. <laughs> oh, dude, this looks like a web browser. Or oh, maybe page like mail. a. Page Mail sounds like a web browser. 
Yeah, and there's like a little browser window back there. Back, forward, reload. We should put a little annotation to see what Adobe PageMill is if yeah. we Google it and figure it out. But then we should just pretend like we know. World so Book, they don't. which is uh, Gee, that's an encyclopedia. Disc one and disc two for your encyclopedia. Night and deluxe, nonetheless. That probably yeah. has photos. It's high end. Okay, so let's stick this in. Are you ready? Yeah. Listen to this. This should still work in theory. Come on, buddy. Yeah. The motor okay. still worked. So at least once. So I hear it's spinning out. We're gonna power the machine off and then we're gonna power it on and hold down the C key because that's how you get into the software install menu. Good pro tip. Um, yeah. It's no longer one that is useful. Uh, <laughs> now we would use command R, but you know, back then we only had to use one button. Now it's two. Hmm, okay. Optical drive spinning up. Yeah, really spinning slowly, like 2x. There is no hard drive clicking at all, which makes me think it's just like completely. Okay, you know what the sound when you like turn the key in your car and you hear it like kind of cough a little <laughs> bit and you're like, this isn't gonna be good? That's the computer version of that, is yeah. the optical drive spinning up and then uh, maybe not so not so much. And just like a 20-year-old car, 20-year-old computers can probably be a little unpredictable. There's a mouse, though. Oh, we didn't plug that in. Let's plug the mouse in and see if we can at least move the mouse on the screen. Dude, this thing is so sticky, it is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Plugs in at the side of the keyboard here. Yeah, that's oh, a nice one feature. on each side? Yeah, what? dude. This is well, when you pay $1,299, which is what this thing cost when it was new, mm -hmm. you can expect quality. Wow. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Welcome to Mac OS 9. It's just booting off the CD, oh. which is why it's taking so long. CDs aren't known for their speed. Taking its time. Especially early CDs. is probably a 2X or 4X reader. Wow. It sounds so bad. But maybe that's just how CDs sounded. Is it, yeah, I don't know if this is <laughs> always the way CDs sounded or if they sounded better over time or if this is just, this is the way it was. We need to let the viewers know, like, we, we use CDs. We're not, we're not that young. Here's the thing. It's been a while, <laughs> I though. I have used CDs, <laughs> but it's been a very long time. I got my MRI results back on a CD recently, and I didn't have any place to go read the CD. So. It's American Healthcare for It's Farm. been a while. Starting up. Oh wow, it's it's working. It's it's really working. Yeah. Would this get warm? Because this is this is your heating. It's got vents. This is they, your vents. They were known for getting a little bit hot. PowerPC chips in general ran pretty warm. Probably not the greatest idea with the CD inside, but that's all right. <laughs> uh, they ran pretty warm, but hey, look at that. It's big enough. Oh yeah, the kickstand. You gotta get that out. There you oh, go. So much better. There's your viewing angle. You have like another five degrees worth of uh, tilt. Yeah. It sounds like a printer is what it sounds like. like we are in, we're in Mac OS 9. Heck yeah, dude. Okay. Let's go to About This Mac. Oh, it doesn't say About This Mac. It says About This Computer. Hmm. Okay. We're running Mac OS 9. We have 64 gigs of uh, megs. That's a lot of RAM. 64 megs. 64 <laughs> megabytes. Gotcha. Megabytes of built-in memory. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a 6 gigabyte hard drive, which is not listed under the storage mediums because I believe it is dead. Fair. Can we see it through here? The hard drive. I see a board down here. I don't know no. if this is going to be a hard drive. Uh, I think it's down right there. There's a lot of heat. Sticks. There's a power supply down there. I don't know. Uh, now that we've powered it on for the first time in 20 years, we should probably not go uh, messing around yeah, I'm not with the to CRT it unless we ground it, which, I mean, I don't generally mind dying. I just don't want to embarrass myself in front of Marquez as I'm dying. So <laughs> someone would be there to help me, I guess. Yeah, I'd be here. Um, they'd give me my results back on a CD, though, so... I'd say yeah. this is a success as far as getting it to boot this far and actually moving the mouse around. Yeah. This video is sponsored by RAV Power's shockingly tiny 61 watt USB-C wall charger. Yeah, how can this little tiny thing put out the same wattage as this behemoth? 
Uh, gallium nitride, baby. Rather than silicon, which is used in all the chargers you're familiar with, new gallium nitride chargers have a significantly higher band gap, which means that it can conduct higher voltages, quicker current, and also in a smaller footprint. This RAV Power 61 watt USB-C charger is reliable, safe, small, and inexpensive. I charge my MacBook, my iPad, my iPhone, and other USB PD devices without it skipping a beat. At MSRP, it's already a shockingly good value compared to the data tech found in Apple chargers, but Snazzy Labs viewers can save 30% by purchasing through Amazon and using my special coupon code. Okay, well. Well, this is retro tech, man. Yeah. This uh, is the beginning of computers for me. Like I said, like the, the little bit of nostalgia that comes back is like, I remember, I don't know if they're built in or if my teacher had the apps installed later or what the deal was. The school probably bought them. But yeah, I remember these being in like the little back of the classroom where you could just go hang out and compute things. Yeah, this is one of the first like big products, I guess you could say, that Apple released before, I guess after Steve Jobs' return to Apple. They had this, the iBook G3, which was famously <laughs> the first consumer notebook really that went mainstream with Wi-Fi. Yeah. It was pretty good. And uh, yeah, that didn't mean they were out of the woods. There were some sketchy years ahead. They almost went bankrupt in 1998 and 2001. But then a little thing came around called the iPod. That did pretty, that? pretty okay for them, I hear. Yeah. So. And then the iPhone. And then the iPad. Yeah. And They're the doing I, fine. I everything else. I want this video to be over. <laughs> this is a fun uh, unboxing. Well, Marquez, thank you so much for, for letting me steal on. your computer. Yeah. And I will leave, uh, leave all this crap to you to clean up. I'll just start editing videos on this. <laughs> yeah. Now I'll take the uh, I'll take the iMac Pro. We'll just swap them out. It's a trade. There Fine. probably is uh, Final Cut One. Final Cut <laughs> One I'm trying it. I don't know. All right. <laughs> See you later. Stay snazzy, folks.